bone walkers of the hive await. Kill them, dead guardian. What is going on guys, Daily here. Today I thought I'd bring some Destiny content. Uh, this is just from the level 32 Prison Velders Arena. Um, I thought I'd just give you some sort of, uh, not really a tutorial, just sort of like a good way of defeating this boss. It's a Hive boss. I'm not exactly sure on his name, but you'll see it pop up in a minute. I just want to see spawns in. Um, but there's this really nice little spot that I found. Um, it's sort of really nicely uh, guarded and all that sort of stuff. There's not really too much damage you can do from you. So yeah, I thought I'd just uh, upload this little commentary sort of tutorial, sort of walkthrough sort of thing. Uh, just to show you guys uh, the spot, I'm just heading over to it shortly. Uh, just take me, take out a few enemies, and then you'll see me hop up. And the best thing about this spot is he can't, he doesn't really move from that centre bit. You'll notice that after playing him for a little bit, but he doesn't really move from over there. The only thing that really is a problem for you is the thralls and the wizards and that sort of thing. Uh, but the best thing about the thralls and that is. On this one, you generally have like their melee's increase, so you really don't want to be getting up close with Thralls, uh, they're just a big problem for you. Uh, but the best thing about in here is they can only come up to the stairs on your right, and you'll see that even so, the en other enemies don't really get up too close, you'll see these enemies just around here. Uh, you see just uh, head over to the stairs, and they don't really move up too far. I mean, I do make a couple of uh, risky moves here, just trying to revive my teammate, uh, just whilst I was really low on health, but. This is also another spot that leads me on nicely just after I get that revive. There's this nice little sort of domed off area thing where the boss can't actually get you. Uh, the only risk from here is that the ogre does actually push down a little bit. You'll see me moving just from side to side to try and take out a few more enemies before I head over to my OP spot. Um, I think I'll stop and I'll challenge the ogre here and you'll actually see him pushing down a little bit. Um, <coughs> just trying to take out the wizards and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of a bit of a struggle. Um, but sort of for this sort of play style of trying to take out this boss, I'm sort of like staying in the same sort of area and just rotating between the two uh, places, but you'll see the ogre coming down and it's not too much of a problem, uh, just got some nice little head glitches and stuff like that where you can't actually get to me. Um, but I will head back over to here, just grabbing some ammo, heavy ammo, special ammo, that sort of stuff. You guys already know the deal. One thing I really would strongly suggest from doing this uh, boss fight sort of thing is to have an icebreaker because you don't get a great deal of ammo drops and you can get the juggler modifier which is really a pain in the ass because obviously you need to be switching your weapons constantly and just having the icebreaker just with its uh, auto refill magazine it just comes in so handy um, plus the fact if you're having this sort of like sort of campy sort of playstyle um, you're not going to be running out of ammo too much with the icebreaker because obviously it's going to be regenning plus it just deals a great deal of damage I've got the second upgraded one from Zer uh, so it's a really good strong weapon strongly advise uh, pick it up if you haven't already I managed to get it from the Vault of Glass a while ago um, but yeah, you can just sort of see the spot, there's a lot of cover and nothing can really touch you to be honest. I really don't want to ramble too much on in this, I might just put some highlights of what happened and then the loot at the end of it because this was level 32. There was another boss after this one, the Cabal one, or Cabal one, however you pronounce it. Um, but there was another boss after this and we did struggle on that to be honest, it was quite a long winded one. It took us a good 20 minutes to take that boss out. Uh, just because the constant changing of shields and just how quickly he got back his shield was just really frustrating and it really just took us a long time to get that boss done but we did good die quite a lot so I'm not really going to show you that uh, footage I'm a little bit hesitant on uploading that sort of stuff but um, yeah my Destiny videos did do pretty well I've only got two on my channel in the last like four months or so and both of them have done really well view wise so I'm going to uh, try and pump out a few more Destiny videos just because they seem to be doing a lot more uh, a lot better statistic wise like with views and that sort of thing. Uh, you do see me struggling a little bit with Wizard here. It wasn't too much of a problem, I managed to take him out uh, pretty easily. A little bit of help from my teammates I must admit. But yeah, just to avoid the rambling, uh, I seem to do that a lot in my commentaries. I've still got about 4 minutes left of this boss so I'm just going to cut it short here and then skip to the loot cave. I didn't get a great deal of stuff, uh, I'll just skip to it now. Treasure awaits in Crystal Barrow. Sorry guys, I really couldn't uh, resist putting his voice in because he's just got such an awesome musky sort of voice. It's really awesome, but um, yeah, just dropping down into a treasure pit now. Just go over what loot I got. Firstly, a couple of strange coins, not too bad. Come in handy for Zer. Token of identity, motes of light, special ammo synthesis. I can't stress how much I've actually got of them. But there we go. Got the right hand, the auto rifle. I have... I don't, I'm not really a huge fan of auto rifles in Destiny to be honest, uh, they got too much recoil for me, but there was supposed to be a buff coming out for them so I'm not sure if that's already dropped or if it's still yet to drop, 
Uh, but I do have a couple of exotic and legendary auto rifles, but I just don't really use them, so I'm not really sure whether to keep them, uh, sort of tally up in my vault or not, or just to discard them. But anyways, that's it for this video. Um, don't really think I've got anything else. Oh no, actually, yeah, I went to the postmaster and picked up my uh, ammo core, not my ammo core, my armor core, and then got some a new helmet which boosted me up to level 32 and a half. So. That's about it for this video. I don't really feel the need to show you that uh, ammo core, but it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure, if you did, make sure you leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you know. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.